What's up, coaches? So pumped, honestly, for real. Very, very pumped uh, that you are here. Uh, very, very excited about what is going to happen in your business over the next uh, couple weeks regarding this training. So this is Accelerated Diamond One, and we obviously are going to start off with telling your story because that's going to be one of the most important things. So we're going to spend two weeks uh, telling your story, and then we are going to have, uh, you're going to be able to develop uh, some sharing tools for that, and then um, you're going to spend two weeks on sales cycle one, one week on sales cycle two, and then you have one week on uh, customer care and coach recruiting. So uh, first things first is going to be our planner, right? So we've got a planner that we have for the course, and we'll go through it real fast so you can see it. So uh, these are the four um, mentors, the training leaders that we have for Accelerate Diamond. Myself, Jim, we also have Kristen Alexander, we have Adam Burke, we have Andy Johnson. Um, these people absolutely rock. Absolutely blessed beyond belief that they are part of this training system and uh, very, very excited uh, for the future of the training with these people. And also a uh, shout out goes to Mark Briggs, Robert Hudgens, Melissa Hudgens, Blake and Angie Warrington and Charlene Booker because they're responsible for this training coming to fruition as well. So those are the shout outs. Um, so what I need you to do first and foremost is I need you to go to the link that's attached here, the file that's attached here and on the post and download and print this printer, this planner. Now I realize, right, that there are gonna be some of you that are gonna be all about digital and I get that. Right, but if you look at Eric Worre, who developed the GoPro system, who is a multi multi millionaire, who trains multi multi millionaires, um, he's big on pen and paper. Uh, MJ Durkin trains multi millionaires. He's big on pen and paper. A lot of the biggest trainers out there are all about pen and paper. Uh, research. I'm a teacher, so I'm big on the research aspect of this as well. And research states that pen and paper creates. Uh, a pathway in your brain so that you actually remember things better and have a better experience with it if it's pen and paper. So, love you kids that are on digital. However, um, for the purpose of this training, please, please, please print this out. So, our customer prospecting scripts, we're going to get to these later. All right. And what I need you to do is do me this favor and realize this right here. All right. Um, we're going to use these as a guideline, but you're going to modify it to fit the way that you're going to speak. I don't want anybody to be robots here because that's not the right thing to do. Feel free to modify to make sure that, that all this stuff's going to sound the way you speak. All right? um, same thing for the coach prospecting and all that kind of stuff. So the big thing that we're going to get to today is this. All right? This is your week one. And what I need you to do is come up with 30 people, not coaches, not current customers, but 30 people, um, preferably warm market, and these could be people who have said no to you before, that's totally fine. But come up with 30 people um, that you think you could help change your lives by uh, a Beachbody product. And what I want you to do, very, very simple, is just write down the name. Jane Doe, oh man, yeah, we're gonna go Jane Doe on this one. All right, so what you're gonna do is if you have a phone number down, you can write it down for Jane Doe. Um, if this is just gonna be strictly like a Facebook contact, then you would just write down FB right here. So you'll see I've got two boxes here that say talk, right? Um, so here's all I want you to do, like for real. The only thing you're gonna do for these two weeks, or for this week in particular, you're also gonna do the same thing next week, but for these two weeks that we are um, developing and sharing tools, we're also forming relationships with these 30 people, and this is so important. If you don't do this part, the rest of the training will not work right for you, okay? Because I don't want you just to cold prospect people. Um, and, and I want people to ever think that you're just about a product because that's not you, right? Um, and the thing I want you to do is just talk to these people, okay? And, and if you want to call it for me, call it for me. But I mean, honestly, I just want you to talk to these people. And that's the most important thing, right? We're gonna be forming relationships. So it's great that we can uh, save a life with Shakeology, right? But here's what I've also realized uh, in 17 years as a teacher, is that everybody walks in with baggage, right? Everybody walks in my classroom with baggage. Now some are better at hiding it than others, but everybody has it, 
right? The people that you work with on a daily basis, they've all got baggage. Some are better at hiding it than others. The people you know on Facebook, they're all going through in something, but some of them hide it better than others. And what I want you to do is, I mean, you never know when someone is on their darkest day, but you reach out and you say hi. You offer them a smile when no one else has. You offer to be there when no one else has. You save a life that way as well. Because you never know when someone's in that kind of a dark place. So we, yes, we can save life, lives through Shakeology and getting people healthy um, with the programs and nutrition plan and the eating plan and the workout plan. But you can also save life just by being there for someone. So for these two weeks, I just want you to be there. So I just want you to talk to those people. Now, for me, I'm crazy sarcastic, right? That's just what I do. That's, that's who I am. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show you a very simple way that I, man, my computer is going slowly today. All right. All right, so Scotty Bright is a buddy of mine, right? Went to college with him. That's my dude. We went on spring break. Crazy things. So with Scotty B, now all I mean with talking is this. Did you can write something goofy. So he's a Bears fan. I'm not a Bears fan at all. So I'm going to write this. And we went to Whataburger on spring break one time. So we always do Whataburger jokes. So I'm just going to write the Bears while I want to wreck. You know, I'm going to put a little smiling face on there so he knows I'm just messing with him. But I'm just going to post that for him, send him that, right? So you can just post stuff on people's. Now, don't always do sarcastic stuff. Like, be there for people. And especially in their time of need, stuff like that. But it's got to be now. We joke around a lot. So um, this is the thing. I'm totally comfortable with saying it's got to be. But here's the thing is uh, if I'm doing this the way I'm going to teach you guys, it's got to be. All right. So talk. I talked to him on 10, 13. Now, I realize I'm writing this on a computer, but I want you to, to actually write this down, but it's just so much easier for me to show it to you this way. So you're going to actually write the date down that you talk to people. So you remember what it is, right? And then I'm just going to talk to, I'm just going to write in here, um, the Bears. So I remember what I wrote to him. So, cause he's going to chat back and forth with me. We're going to be, um, over the next couple weeks when he and I are just talking back and forth with each other, it'll just be banter back and forth. Cause that's the way it always is with he and I, right? But it doesn't work if I just come up to him and, and I say, Oh, Hey dude. So, Want to join me in my next challenge group? And he's going to be like, um, if I haven't been talking to him for a while, he's going to say, yeah, cool. So, you know, we haven't talked in, you know, a couple months. But, uh, you know, the first thing out of the gate is, you don't want to buy something from you. I don't want us to be people like that because that, that is where it gets to be spammy, right? But this is, we're just building relationships for these uh, two weeks. So, again, your assignment, download this, print it out. Use this planner. So up in the top, you can talk about what, or you can write down what workout you're supposed to be doing. These little boxes up here, you can put the actual dates. Um, your DMO, daily method of operation, I want you to write in here, check AD1 every single day. This week's focus, all right, so if I'm writing in this week's focus, and obviously I can't write it in here because it's not working right, but I'm going to put in, uh, you will not outwork me. Or this week's relation, or this week's focus could be building relationships, right? Because that's really what we're gonna be doing. So download this, print it out, write down your 30 names, and then all you have to do. I don't want you to talk to all 30 people today because that would be uh, ludicrous and way, way out of here. Um, but split this up. So you have 30 blanks. You got five days. So basically, just chat with six people a day. That's all it is. Just chat with six people. That take your first six. Just send messages to them. You can text them. You can call them up. You can send them a private message. It doesn't have to be something that you put on their Facebook wall. Um, but I did put the Bears thing on Scotty B's wall because I know that there are other buddies of ours uh, who give him a hard time about the Chicago Bears because, man, they're just a train wreck. Such a train wreck. Go Broncos, right? Go Broncos. So post below in the on the Facebook post in 81. Post that you have printed it. Post that you got your 30 names done and then post if you have started to uh, talk to your six people yet. All right, let me know how it goes. I really hope that this will be a fantastic training for you. But remember, show up every day and do your absolute best.